Bill in Virginia. Welcome back to another episode of Model Railroading Adventures with Bill. Today I am still working on uh, the O scale. and I figured I'd get uh, things started off by showing you uh, something that I've been playing with. So we've got a piece of O scale flex track sitting right here. And I'm going to show you real quick how you can take O scale flex track and make it into O scale bridge track. <laughs> it's actually fairly easy, and I was uh, playing with it last night. And, you know, it's because I'm going to be putting in bridges and trestles on my uh, O scale layout, as well as on the uh, ON30, and got thinking how I can use track that I've got to make it look like what I need. And yeah, obviously this isn't glued in place. What I'll do is once I get to that point, I will take this and align it where it, uh, you know, kind of looks good to the eye. And I will take some uh, very, very narrow styrene strips and just kind of glue it on the back. And I will have everything laid out so it looks much better than this. And that way I can hold it into place while I do the mounting for the bridge. But what's uh, easy to do about it is to actually make it. So you do need a place where you've got like a concrete floor, where you've got uh, some good workspace, and uh, probably it'd be a good idea to not have a fire uh, detector or fire alarm above, smoke detector, you know, above where you're working. Because it involves a little bit of flame and uh, making a hot knife. But I think this would probably work just as simply on uh, both HO and even probably end scale layouts where you could take the knife, heat it up, and it'll work even easier on the HO and on the end scale. But just get it so it's coming through and it cuts smooth and it snaps. And there, I've got a tie that is ready to go into the bridge. And then, uh, of course, I got a big pile of the nubbies down on the floor. So super simple. Does not take much time whatsoever. And if it doesn't want to go through, like that one, you heat it up just a little bit longer. You know, you're going to end up throwing away the knife blade, but uh, that's okay. So you got it. And you can trim them up and clean them up a little bit for whatever you've got on it. But quick and easy way to make bridge ties. And I was doing it on this uh, track, so I've got a bunch more. So this is about what you can get out of uh, you know, a three foot long O scale piece of flex track. By the time I'd get all of the ties down here, I would probably have at least enough to do 12, maybe 14 inches. So roughly half of uh, a length is what you're gonna get out of the ties. So just something, and when I get farther along, you'll see as I use this to actually mount to a trestle and put into place. But uh, I was just kind of having some fun with it. So I'm still playing with that O scale flex track that I've uh, been cutting. So I made a, a jig to kind of make it straight and then I found that by using thick washers, I get a spacing that looks pretty realistic on this. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, one, I need to go to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot and uh, get a bunch more washers. I also need to get some uh, brads for my uh, pneumatic nail gun, uh, as well as some more lumber so that I can do the next piece. But I'm going to glue this up this weekend. I'll get uh, the washers, I'll run it as far as I can, and then uh, get some styrene strips and glue that to keep it in place. But I think I've got a pretty good bridge track coming here. Okay, on this project, I have things pretty far along. I've got a lot of the washers in as spacers. I've got my strip styrene. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue the back of this using again, rapid fuse, and then uh, just kind of set it in place, 
right here. All of this is going to be painted uh, before I actually do more on the bridge anyway, so it shouldn't be visible. And then, uh, yeah, I should have a, a deck for uh, my bridge, or at least one of them. Like I said, I've got a number of them I've got to build here. So I'm going to get this glued up real quick using the Rapid Fuse, and I'll pick that up later. And then again, I just use a toothpick just so I can kind of control a little bit more on spreading it out. And then it's just a light, a light coat on the back. You know, I just want to make sure I got enough on there where it gives me a good grab. Doesn't have to be excessive by any stretch of the imagination. And I will leave about an inch on the end not covered. So that uh, one, I've got a uh, hand hold, so I'm not gluing myself to the uh, styrene. And there we go, that should be good. All right, let's see how this is going to work. I wanna put that right on the last one that I'm doing. Bring it over on that, and then get it put into place. And it is wanting to flex, which is okay. I'll just kind of hold it in position until I get some bite on it. Kind of run it up. Make good contact of everything. I already see it's starting to bite. The more I'm wanting to have the uh, so it should be pretty much right over the rail, which is where I'm after it. Some of this will take a little longer. Starting to grab there. So I'm just gonna let this do its thing and then I'm gonna go to the other side and then I'll show you what uh, a finished product uh, hopefully looks like here. Well, here's the uh, bridge track. So it turned out pretty good for the first attempt. Now there's a few minor spacing issues and I've still got to go back in with a little bit more super glue in a couple of spots because uh, it just didn't grab properly. But overall, it's not bad. So out of that 36 inch piece of flex track, I was able to get uh, 21 inches of usable bridge track by doing the spacing method. So I thought that was pretty good. It's in pretty good shape. Got my uh, strip styrene, which will be hidden when I uh, build up the bridge and I put the, uh, the deck and stuff on it. Uh, but this should work. You know, I could put in the guardrails. I can make those out of other flex track. This is, uh, this is gonna work and it's economical too. You know, it was just a piece of used flex track, uh, you know, a few hours of time to kind of play to kind of come up with a process, but you'll see this one on uh, at least one bridge that will go in over in that area here. I'm going to be uh, actually making some more and uh, kind of refining my process a little bit, but I'm happy with how it turned out. Now, on to uh, some more construction. Starting on the third and uh, last module for the O scale ON30 layout. Got the lumber, got a bunch of it cut. So uh, I'm gonna get started. See what kind of mischief I can get into on this one. And a little farther along. Making some progress. Have the uh, top glued and nailed. Legs glued and nailed together, ready to cut. I've got the uh, bottom plates fabricated and wheels mounted to them. 
and another pile of lumber ready to cut which will make the uh, base for the next section so as long as the weather is good tomorrow i will uh, get those cut and i should have this table pretty well done getting ready to do the uh final assembly on the bench. Legs are mostly on. I've got to put the uh, one by threes in, uh, do the base. I've got a couple more pieces to cut and then I will do uh, glue and nail, get the uh, casters on, get it up against the other piece of the layout, uh, clamp it in place just to make sure that the glue dries and everything is nice and square and uh, I can start doing something else. Last module is pretty well done. Once I uh, put track, I will put some additional cross pieces in here uh, to kind of support and stiffen things up. I still have to put in a shelf on that. I've still got to put shelf in on the middle section as well. But I've got it uh, clamped to the middle section. Uh, again, just so that as the glue dries, it stays extremely square to the other piece. And what's nice is totally flush. There's nothing there. That's nice. <laughs> Usually I'm not that successful. But everything is mobile, so that's one-handed. Once I get more weight on it, scenery and different things, it'll take two hands to do. I will uh, add in, uh, again, that little T-handle uh, toggle here and I will find a spot over there. I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna do it because that picks up where the lower piece goes. So this one, yeah, I don't know, or maybe a longer one someplace. I'll figure that out, not a problem. All right, so this is looking pretty good. I'm just gonna let the glue dry before I do anything more on it here. One little project that I'm gonna finish up today yet on the uh, middle section deals with that little pile of wood. Let's uh, see what kind of mischief I can get into with that one. So I got that last little project done that I was going to do over here on the middle section. And I have my uh, power pack drawer. So that's going to be for the DC. Uh, the DCC obviously that you know different setup and I'll have it put on here somewhere, and that one will be for the OM30 because all of my Bachman equipment is DCC. But this works pretty nice. Nice little drawer, you can pull it out, can get access to the uh, throttle that's gonna be in there, do my wiring in the back here, and then I can also reach up still and get uh, access to the knob to uh, disconnect the layout pieces. So that's gonna work out pretty well. I was thinking about putting a cover on it or a drawer pull, but the more I think about it, you know what, I'm just going to leave it like this. This is fine. I don't need to put a drawer pull on that. I do have to take the drawer out though and I've got to do a little bit of trim because this is not straight across and that bothers me that I've got about a sixteenth uh, of an inch showing and it's nice and flush there. So I'll give that a buzz next time I've got the saw out just to kind of true it up. And then uh, I'll consider that one done. So making progress, I also put in a couple of cross pieces over on the layout right there and then over there just to give it a little bit more support until I put track on and then uh, see where I need other braces. So the uh, layout tables anyway are pretty much done. Yeah, I've still got a lot of odds and ends to do, but the basics are completed. So I'm... Uh, Happy camper. This has turned out pretty well.